literally one of the most difficult things I have done all day is try to focus my camera on a baby's nail. <sighs> and the watermark's on my tank. So the other day I came home to a few snails banging in my tank. So naturally I took out my camera and decided to make a video about it. That little uh, spotty thing you see in front of them, that's an ache clutch. So let's talk about that. The snails in my tank are called ram's horn snails. These snails are hermaphrodites, which means that they can carry both female and male sex cells. This gives the snails the ability to auto-fertilize themselves. However, this is not ideal as auto-fertilization can cause defects, as the snail is essentially inbreeding. In order to ensure healthy and successful offspring, it is best for a ram's horn snail to reproduce with another snail. Yes, I do see all the algae on my tank. Anyways. Fertilized snails will most often lay their jelly-like egg sac, or otherwise known as an egg clutch, near the top of the waterline. However, they will also lay them anywhere else in the tank, even on the backs of other snails sometimes. Unfortunately to the common fish owner, if you don't want ram's horn snails, they are a tough pest to get rid of, which can easily breed out of control and be difficult to find in your tank. Bear with me as I pause to wonder who the hell this is. This is not the same kind of snail that I have in my tank. And it's a baby. Anyways. A great way to overbreed your snails is to overfeed your tank. If you want to collect a bunch because they have overbred, leave a small blanched carrot or a piece of food in there and scoop them out once they've attacked the food. If you've only gotten one ram's horn snail, expect to have more, as once again they can auto-fertilize, which isn't the best, but also, because of the ram's horn snail's small size, it is difficult to safely handle baby snails. And so most often, it is adult snails who are already able to breed who are sold. This leaves a high possibility that your snail has already bred and is fertile and ready to lay eggs.